Hi again, uh, this is Angela Warburton, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, and this is the food series. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the flavors of the food and the actions of those flavors of the actions of food in the body. So um, we say every flavor has a uh, movement, so it's gonna move up or down or in or out. And we're gonna use those foods or flavors at certain times so either with a pattern in the body um, so a disease pattern or a state of um, discomfort in the body or we're going to use them uh, seasonally because uh, each season brings with it different elements different temperatures uh, different energetics and so when we use food specifically during those seasons to accentuate the movement of foods we're going to use it to help balance us out uh, the the foods um, like all the flavors are beneficial if someone is off balance using a little bit more of a certain flavor or food will help to balance them out so be very medicinal um, if we use too much of a flavor it can have uh, an adverse effect on us so we want to be very mindful of that and um, if we want to just sort of maintain health we can also use a little bit of all the flavors at a meal and that will help to balance or stimulate all the different organ systems and all the different systems in the body and that can be really beneficial a lot of this um, if you look at traditional cuisines say for instance indian food a uh, traditional meal will have the sweet the salty, the spicy, the sour, or the bitter all in one meal. And that the idea of that is it stimulates, each flavor is associated with a different organ in Chinese medicine, but that action will, each uh, food or each flavor has a slightly different action on the body, and it will just help to stimulate everything and then balance it out. So this is when someone's healthy and wants to stay healthy, it's a really, it's a really great idea to have a little bit of each flavor. We tend to be a little bit over, um, sweet salty uh, and we overuse fat as well in in uh, our current modern day culture and that has really thrown things off of balance so people have a lot of issues come up because of the uh, abundance of a certain flavor like salty or things like that so we'll talk a little bit about each flavor um, and then how we use them so salty is the first flavor that we'll talk about uh, salty we say moves in and down in the body it's it's associated with the um, kidney system in Chinese medicine, which is also uh, the winter. It, it shows up in winter time. And we use uh, salty foods a lot in the winter. So uh, in the winter, it's cold, we're inside. We want to make sure, we wouldn't wanna bring our energy out in the winter. We will actually wanna bring it in and downwards because we wanna actually store our energy. So the salty food is really, really great for that. It tends to, um, salty, we say it actually um, softens hardness. So some salty foods like seaweeds and things like that are actually great for, they're actually anti-cancer foods. And so they actually are gonna break down or soften um, like things like cysts or stuff like that. They can be really helpful for that. Helps to um, relax someone who's got like, I don't know if you know anyone who's like super tense and they've got really tight sort of rigid muscles. Salty food can actually help soften that a little bit. Um, it's, it's a little bit can um, stimulate the digestive function. Um, but too much salty, we say, can contribute to um, dampness or heaviness in the body. So someone who's already feeling really heavy, maybe has a little bit like they get uh, bloated really easily or they retain water really easily or actually swell like they're um, you know any kind of arthritis or something like that where people have swollen joints salty would be not so great for that um, so we say it, cont it contributes to something called dampness in the body so then there's a the sour flavor and I think intuitively people know sour which just sort of brings you in like that's that uh, uh, suck on a lemon and you'll know what that that feels like so it's very astringent and it's got this sort of gathering energy um, it's really good for anything that any kind of sort of um, uh, you know s leaking or sagging kind of condition or if people are like sweating a lot we want to astringe stuff and bring it back in um, it's really good so the sour flavor shows up um, in with the liver system and it shows up in the springtime so it actually the sour will kind of um, stimulate the the gallbladder or the liver it sort of it's almost got that squeezing action so it helps the body detoxify or kind of move helps things move through um, they're generally the sour kind of be a bit cleansing 
whoa, and detoxifying as well. And um, yeah, again, really helpful in the spring. So a lot of the sort of like lemons and limes and those sort of things, the sour flavors are really helpful. Um, bitter flavor, it's very draining or drying in the body. So it travels downwards in the body. Uh, bitter is really great for stimulating the appetite. Um, it's really good because it's drying. It's those people where salty is not good because they're too damp. The bitter is actually really great for drying out things. You don't want to do too much. Um, you want to be mindful of it. It's very strong. So if someone's like, okay, I'm going to lose weight and just take lots of bitter, just be careful because it can be too draining for someone. So um, just having a little bit more like dandelion or rapini or things like that, those bitter greens, they're really great for this as well. Um, the sweet flavor, we say um, a lot of the, the foundational foods like rice or, um, you know, when you, th sweet is sort of the primary flavor we start babies on. So like yams or sweet potato, um, a lot of those grains, they're very, they're very nourishing sweet, we'd say. And then fruits would be also be a sweet. Um, we don't want to have too much. They're sort of like an empty sweet. We don't want to have too many of those, but having a few of those is, is very sort of um, moistening um, the sweet flavor. And um, it's really good. Sweet can be really good if someone's really depleted, like if someone's uh, emaciated and you want to rebuild or build up their energy, the sweet's really helpful for that. So because it's got that sort of building component, we say it's associated with the stomach um, or digestive spleen pancreas system in Chinese medicine. Uh, it's, um, it's sort of like the, f makes the foundation of our diet. Um, so, and then they have the pungent flavor. So the pungent flavor, this one is very stimulating and moving. It provo promotes the circulation of energy in the body. So like the onion family would be considered pungent and they kind of move things. They really cut through stuff. So onion um, can cut through some of that greasy, heavy food. Um, so that pungent will do that. It will also um, move the energy up and out. So if we used pungent hot, which would be like the hot pepper, that's going to move the energy up and out in the body. So really great for cooling people down if they're in a hot climate and they want to sweat it out. That's where the, the pungent can be really helpful. Um, really good for, um, uh, it's, you know, for, um, well, just that circulation. So for someone who is maybe a little bit stuck feeling or irritable, that can be a really th great thing to use. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more sort of if we were to use these different flavors, so our different um, flavors, but using their different actions. So the upward moving or the downward moving or inward or outward, we'd use them specifically um, in larger amounts if we wanted to balance out a particular um, physical ailment or, or issue. So if we're moving things um, in that, you know, the outward energy, it's promoting the flow of the energy from the inside of the body to the outside. So that's if we want to get rid of something. So if we want to get rid of extra heat, uh, that's when we use pun these sort of outward moving foods. If we're wanting, you know, to induce a, a sweat or something for someone who's got a fever, that would be a really good thing to use these outward um, moving ones as well. When we have inward moving, we want to bring things from the outside in. So um, this would be used in the opposite. When you want to move something out, we want to move something in. So we use a, a lot of these inward moving foods in the winter time because we want to conserve our energy. But anyone who's got the opposite, um, where they're sweating too much, maybe they have um, night sweats or um, really they're, they're peeing too much even, you want to keep things in. So you're going to use some of these inward moving foods for that. Um, then we have the upward moving foods. So it's, when you think about balance, Chinese medicine, very much about balance. If you have things that are going down too much, then you want to use the upward moving foods. So that would be something like um, any kind of prolapse in the body or someone who's got diarrhea. So things are moving out, you just want to hold on to it a little bit longer. Uh, hemorrhoids, anything like that. Uh, any kind of prolapse that would be you want to use those sort of upward moving herbs and then you have the opposite of that so the downward moving so again just about this balance so the um, if you have things that are going up and you don't want them to go up you're going to bring it down so that would be um, someone's vomiting you want to bring the energy down hiccups 
hiccups is this energy going up. So you want to bring that down. Um, the same with things like that are constipation. You want things to kind of get out. So downward moving herbs would be really helpful for that. So some of the downward moving herbs like uh, seeds or that salty energy, that's going to bring the energy down in the body. So that's just a little bit about how uh, the flavors of the food have an impact on the movement of energy in the body and then how you can use them medicinally to help balance things out. So again, that idea of food is medicine and just understanding your food beyond just the simple taste or um, calories of it. Okay, thanks.